All right, so we have the whale. <laughs> um, so Noel does not know he, so for this I'm going to try to show using a uh, leash pressure to help your recall um, and she does not know a here so I'm going to use here and I'm not going to use her name because she knows her name uh, and she knows come right Noel come right see so Say, working on your recall in the backyard, if you're always just calling the dog to come in, he's going to be like, I ain't coming to that. First off, probably doesn't know what come means, right? Um, because you have to teach him that. Second off, if you've been using come, then you almost have to go to least pressure. Um, depending on how fast he wants to go. He's a little girl, right? Uh, so say this is the backyard. You come out. I probably should have brought her 30. You go out in your backyard and you're going to have to practice, right? So she's going to be on a leash and you go, here. Oh, she knows the here. She might have she, ah, she come just because of my voice also. Because we've done a lot of work. Here. Good. Well. Let me see if I can try another word. Uh, again, she might be coming just because of my voice, right? Once you've done enough practice, they're going to do that shit. So, anyways, back to the... Uh, if he's practiced going away, I might just have to, right? So you can come out and you just get, get him following you for one thing. On the long line. You see, she's just following my movements. And it's hard for me to stand still. A lot of times you can just go stand still. Right, and ignore the dog, the dog's gonna go away. Booger. See, she just, she knows my voice is gonna get her something. So, I'm gonna do it without saying anything, okay? Um, and I might show the games too. I'm sure you guys have seen the recall games that I do, that I got from people, because nothing, nobody's ever come up with anything. So look, the dog's going away. You're going to say the word, and you're going to apply pressure. Good. Over here. Good. Let me get rid of this distraction. First off, you want no distractions, right? <laughs> I guess it's not first off, because we're already talking. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> right? Um, so, look, the more you reward, the more you're going to get. The more you reward them coming back to you like this, the least amount of pressure you're going to have to use. So let's say you say the dog's name and the word, and he keeps going that way. You're going to apply pressure. Yeah, good. And as soon as they start coming back, you're going to mark it with a good. You're probably going to have to back up a little bit. <laughs> See how it makes them want to come to you? If you just say it, you're like, hey, come. Come. Boring, right? Come. Yeah, good. Right? So that's, a, that's one problem a lot of people have is they say, come. And then they just go, come, 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 come. But you got to be exciting, right? What's you doing? And you can pray. Some people will do it like this. I don't like doing this. I like starting at a bigger distance. Some people will just get right in the front and they'll go, dog's name, come. Yeah, good. And I always try to pull them back past me. Not pull them back, but pull them. lure them back, I should say. Right? So they're in the middle of a sniff or something. You're not going to get them. Unless you use least pressure. That's, to me, that's like down the road, right? Once you get it pretty good, then you can call them away from sniff. Oh, these are good girls. <laughs> um, right? <laughs> this is a cute thing right here. Right? So if you just go out there and you get them following you like this without even saying anything, you want them following your moves. Good girl. Right? So, I'm not going to be able to show you with her. Well, maybe so. Right? You say the dog's name and the word. Presser. She comes. Mark. Gets back. Reward. She's not going to mess up, dude. She's, she's a bad demo dog.
because she's so good. So say I go, Noel, come. You go, pressure? Yeah, go Gara! As soon as they so some people will you'll hear a bunch of fools out there saying never use least pressure, never use corrections during recalls. That's crap. So you use the pressure when the dog's facing away. So when the pressure or the correction comes when they're going that way, they're gonna not want to go that way. When you make movement for the dog to come to you, right? And you reward that coming back to you, they're gonna want to do that. They're gonna want to avoid that and get this. Make sense? So then the other one would be, and this is a kind of a personal preference thing. If you have to go into corrections, say she's coming back and she stops coming back and she starts going the other way, you would just do a leash correction. But the key is not allowing them to practice walking away from you, right? And so you have to go out and you have to practice just like, just for a couple of minutes, right? Right? And you have to watch out. If, if they're like looking at your pocket instead of you, you need to go like this. Just that, or you can come way out here or you can come, it doesn't matter. Getting eye contact out of it is a good thing. Um, as long as you're breaking the pattern of it being, you know, and and even so, depending on the dog, you can just give affection. No, welcome. Yeah, good girl, all right. This is when when big affection is really good. Is in your recalls. It's probably even better than the food, right? Hi. According to this show that I watched on PBS. See, like she's just coming up with my movement, so it's not gonna work. Good. Right? Um, but you get the picture, right? Give me this thing. I mean, you should do it like this. This is, is this is down the road, too. This, is, this might be kind of mean because um, she knows the food games. Right? But it's also, you know, working up to distractions, right? You would throw it and you would go, oh, crap. Hot dog sticks to my fingers, right? So since I can't get it away, I'm gonna do this. You go, boom. Noel, come. Yeah, good girl. Now she did hit the pressure, but you see, right? They hit the. So when they hit the pressure, you can't just stand there. You have to back up. Backing up is giving them the information of what you want them to do. Now eventually that goes away, but at this point, right? So, Noel, come. Yeah, good. So there I had to. She was looking. I had to use a little pressure, right? It's just light pressure, all right? No, welcome. There it goes. Yeah, good. So that's the trick. I have to have the distraction out there, right? All right. Right. So booger. <laughs> I was trying to use another word. <laughs> See, that's good though, right? They come to your voice. Let's see if I give her more space. Booger! All right, pressure. Yeah, go girl! Good, good, good. All right? So now booger becomes your recall word. Booger! Pressure. Good, 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 good. All right? And let's see. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I think I covered everything, right? Any kind of pressure or correction comes when the dog's going the other way. So say she goes, you go, booger. And she starts coming, and you go, nope, booger. Yeah, good, right? So that's how you would get a correction. Again, the correction has to come. I only do corrections when they start coming and then go away. Otherwise, I'm just using pressure, which is negative reinforcement, and corrections is positive punishment. Right? So the only time I ever do a correction is when they start coming and then they break off. Then the other thing you want to do is when they start coming at the beginning, you want to encourage the whole way. Because if they're, if she's five feet away and you're like, booger, and she comes and you're just standing there doing nothing, even if you move, if she doesn't move, yeah, good girl, good, 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 right? In the beginning, you want to be encouraging the whole way. Then that encouragement starts to become just a mark without encouragement, right? Good.
I think there was something another point I was supposed to get to. A lot of food, right? You like hot dogs? She said, hey, yeah, I like hot dogs. I'm a fucking hippopotamus over here. Um, I think that's it. Right, so if if where least pressure really comes in is the dogs that are super distracted to start with. That's why a lot of people will try to do it just from, like, right here. That's, I mean, that's kind of unrealistic. I mean, you can. I, just, I, I get bigger distance from using pressure. And then you see, like, with my guys, they're all pretty good, except for I've started letting them get away with the last bit. But it's not because of using pressure. Matter of fact, sometimes when I use uh, the go get with Waylon, he needs it in order to get back in check. Because he's independent. He'll be like, eh, whatever. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> zoomy, zoom, zoom. Oh, there goes the camera. Hold up.